Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I am going to share with you three simple slow cooker soups. The first recipe I am going to share with you is a simple beef and vegetable soup. All right, this hamburger soup recipe is super simple. Take a pound, this is like a pound and a quarter of ground beef, and put it into your crock pot. I had like a quarter of an onion in the fridge, so I chopped that up and added it to my beef. I'm gonna take two cans of mixed vegetables and toss them into the slow cooker. two cans of tomato sauce, I'm going to take those cans of tomato sauce and refill them with a little bit of water. And then we're going to do two cups of beef broth. I don't have beef broth on hand so I'm just going to use a bouillon packet and then I'm going to add in two cups of water and that's all you have to do I'm going to set this on high for four hours and then it'll be finished okay, it has almost been four hours So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add pasta to this, but before I do that, because I'm going to freeze a little bit of this, I'm going to freeze it without the pasta. Now that I have about half of that out, what I'm going to do... is I'm going to take like eight ounces of pasta and I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker. And then in a half hour, I'm gonna check on that. Now you do not need to add pasta to this soup. It's a good way to hearty it up a little bit. Otherwise, I serve it with like a grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Now this soup is so versatile. You can add any veggies that you have sitting around in your fridge. And this is really kid friendly as well. So good. For this recipe, I'm going to be making a white chicken chili. I'm going to add in a cup and a half of chicken and a can of Rotel. I just added in two cans of light red kidney beans. Then two tablespoons of diced jalapeno peppers. And then a half a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin's my favorite, so I don't skimp on it. And oregano. A half of an onion. This is seven ounces of diced green chilies. This is what makes it delicious. There's four cups of chicken broth.
Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna add two more cups of chicken broth to this. Perfect. Now, if you wanna add corn right here, you can add a can of corn. But because I'm gonna use this as my lunches and corn is not my absolute favorite, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Get all those yummy onions out. I'm gonna cover this and set it on high for four hours. All right, this has been on high for three and a half hours. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of a pack of cream cheese and I'm gonna add it to this. Full disclosure, I can't guarantee that I'm not gonna end up adding the whole thing. You know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna add the whole block of cream cheese. Judge me if you want. All right, I'm gonna let that set for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. I'm gonna put it down to a low temp. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, it's been an hour. Oh my gosh. Okay, what I really wanna know is why this Kroger cream cheese isn't breaking up. That's interesting. I guess maybe it needs a little bit more time. I don't know. I the fact that the cream cheese is taking a little bit longer than normal to break up. Tell me that does not look delicious. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese and a little bit of sour cream. And a little bit of green onion. And that is what's for dinner tonight. And now we are gonna make some chicken tortilla soup. For this recipe, you are going to need two cups of cooked chicken, taco seasoning, some chipotles and adobo, I'm gonna take two of these and chop them up, a can of Rotel, two cans of beans, you can use any beans that you would like. Today I'm gonna to use light red kidney beans and black beans. A can of corn, you can use fresh if you would like, or frozen. A can of tomato sauce, and then an onion. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take most of this onion and put it at the bottom. Two cups of chicken, a packet of taco seasoning, a can of corn. You do not need to drain your corn. A can of Rotel a can of tomato sauce, and then my two cans of beans. I'm gonna pull two of these peppers out. And then I'm just gonna cut these up. And then I'm gonna add them to my slow cooker. There's so much flavor in those. So if you have kids that don't like that spice, you don't have to add those in. Diced green chilies would be really good in this too. I just don't have any more on hand. 
what I'm gonna do with those um, pepper chipotle peppers and adobo is I'm just gonna freeze the rest. And then if I want to, I can just break this in half and use it for another recipe. All we have to do now is add in four cups of chicken broth. And I'm just gonna mix it around. I don't know what part of me was like, use a whisk, but. And right now I'm just gonna put it on high for four hours. Or you can put it on low for seven to eight. So after four hours, this was perfectly done. When I served it up, I ended up serving it with some sour cream, some cheese. And the most important part is the fried tortilla strips. I just took tortillas and I cut them up and I put them in the air fryer for two minutes on 370 and they turned out absolutely perfect. You can add Doritos or just regular tortilla chips and serve that on the side as well. Thank you so much for coming along as I made three simple slow cooker soups. Please like and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching.